Walmart haul. If there's no rhyme or reason to how it's laying here, I'm just going to go through it. We have some carrots. We like to snack on these. This is for a dessert that I'm making. We have homecoming Sunday, and so I'm going to make a dessert with this. I'll probably show that in this video. So, wait for that. Um, subs, I got this for, we're going to do some sandwiches a night or two for dinner. Some of my Hint Waters, some of my favorite. This one has the um, lemon, lemon blueberry in it. It's my favorite. Um, food for the cat. Robbie has poison ivy or poison something, so he needed this. Um, he has contact solution that he's already gotten out. Some pecans for a dessert, another dessert that I'm making for homecoming Sunday. Sunflower seeds for a um, broccoli salad I'm making. Um, organic brown sugar. This is for um, the broccoli salad, and I'm also getting a big bag of broccoli from Sam's later. So this is what that's going for. Mayonnaise. Um, I'm going the easy way again, doing Bob Evans mashed potatoes because I'm going to do beef tips and gravy for homecoming, and then the mashed potatoes. Um, some lettuce for sandwiches and other things that we're going to be doing this week, salads, blah, blah, blah. This is, you know, um, I get this a lot because this is Robbie's favorite snack at nighttime before he goes to bed or in the middle of the night when he gets up. We've got croutons for some salads. These are for um, um, taco salad. I got this butter is for cooking. This butter is for baking. Um, I needed some cream cheese for the desserts I'm making, some Parmesan cheese. Um, the Parmesan cheese and this chicken that I'm going to marinate with that right there is, um, we do a grilled chicken Caesar pasta salad. And so we're going to have that one night this week. So that's what this is for. Dinner rolls for Sunday. My daughter said she, I needed to get the big bag next time because I guess she ate them quickly. So those are for her. This is my favorite kind of rice. It's just, it's easy, it's quick, it's brown. And so I was out and so I'm stocking up on that with three boxes. This is for a couple of things, for salad and for the broccoli salad I'm making. Bananas, um, some Cajun turkey and some black forest ham. Those are for sandwiches with the sub rolls. And then I've got um, two 18 count eggs. I'm gonna do some deviled eggs for Sunday as well. Whole milk for the grandbaby because in two weeks she can have this whole thing drunk. And then diapers for the grandbaby. And that is, every, oh, whoops, wait a minute. I got some two liters for um, homecoming, some Sprite and some Coke. And then I made another stop and enough said. So that is all of it. I actually just got home from Sam's and I'm just gonna do this haul right here in the car. I got some more of the Hint Waters. They have the 18 pack and the, um, I started to say the, oh, okay. They have the 18 pack, so I like to get those. Um, we're gonna have these with some wraps one night this week. We put that in the freezer. <laughs> and then I got, whoa. I got some, you can't really see that well. I got some um, stew beef that I'm gonna make beef tips with for homecoming. I got the three pounds of hamburger meat for dinner to week. Broccoli for a broccoli salad. And then we got five more of these totes. Um, I mentioned in another video that we are um, purging and organizing and cleaning out some of our old totes. And so we're going to have nice matching ones. And that is all of the... We also got a couple of boxes of the fig bars that we like. So now I'm going to start on the desserts that I'm going to be making the next day for the next day. <clears throat> it is homecoming at our church. And so I try to get as much cooking done the night before if as much as I can anyway. And so I've got two desserts I'm making. And this first one is a pecan pie cake or a pecan pie cake, however you say it. And super easy. I am getting my eggs and my brown sugar in my standing mixer. And I'm going to mix that together, add my... Um, vanilla and then uh, flour. I'm using organic brown sugar and I'm using organic um, all-purpose flour and then you're going to fold in a couple of cups of pecans and this bakes at 350. I will have the um, recipe in the description below. This is super super easy. I personally don't like a lot of nuts in 
my desserts. So um, next time I think I will not add as many if I'm making it just for my family. But my sisters, you'll see at the end of this video, my sisters did the taste testing and they thought um, both desserts were very good. I also add oil. I don't think I mentioned that. But I'm just going to get this mixed up and into my pot and I mean pan and then into the oven. We know who we are, we're a big bright spark We know how to take the lead and we aren't afraid Shake up all the rules, pretend like they were never made You know it's real We can be braver when we are more than one Hold on to the beat of your feet marching to the drum Break all of the rules, pretend like they weren't made for you This next dessert that I'm going to make, I've heard it called a couple of different things. I've heard it called ooey gooey bars and I've also heard chess, chess bars. Super easy to make. You use a cake mix and I am making the fall version of this. So I'm using a spice cake mix with butter and egg and that's going to become my crust. And then I do egg and cream cheese and I forget what else but you'll see it here in just a minute um, for the cream cheese topping or the gooey topping. Um, I'm going to link this recipe down below as well so you'll have all the measurements and things that you need if you are interested in making this. This is also really, really good. The first time I made it, it's been um, probably a year or two and it was so, so good. This one didn't turn out exactly like that one because I used a different pan. So I prefer making these in a glass dish and so I don't, that may, it may not make a difference for you but for me it just, it does better when I bake it in a glass dish. Dish. So check out the recipe if you're interested in making this. Get our fear of what comes 
last thing that I'm doing for homecoming Sunday instead of doing a roast I got some stew beef so I'm gonna make my my version of beef tips and gravy I've also got um, I started say mac and cheese but it's oh it's the Bob Evans mashed potatoes and I'll be putting that in one crock, crock pot and then my beef tips and another crock pot so you know beef tips and gravy over mashed potatoes that's just yummy um, I'm doing this the exact same way that I always do my roast. I'm using some roast seasoning and some brown gravy, and then I just mix that up with some water. Cover the meat, salt and pepper the meat um, here in just a minute as well. Cover it, oh yeah, and I do add a stick of butter. You don't have to do that. I just think it gives it a little more of a rich flavor, but that's optional. And so I'm gonna cook this overnight, and it's super good. I'm 
sure you guys have already noticed this, but my husband, he has been in the background on this video. He was doing the cleanup behind me this evening and he does stuff like this for me all of the time. And a lot of times things wouldn't get done if it wasn't for him stepping in and helping. He, he truly is one of a kind and I love him to death. you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed i would love for you to, to subscribe come back and hang out with me until next time guys i will see y'all later bye that face is gonna be on there yeah right which one is it hold on let's see which one this one is that one is the best part goes. Autumn. Just cake. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thumbs up. 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 It's the way around the mulberry. Oh, yeah. That is amazing.